Good day, everyone. Uh, just letting you know, as you can see here, Todd just made it to Vancouver. He's just waiting for a ferry. So uh, he thought he would go and jump into the ocean and take a little bit of footage for you guys. So just wanted to share this with you guys. So he's safe, as you can see. And I feel a little bad that I'm not there with him right now. And I did see my chiropractor today. So uh, he was able to pop me back in, which is awesome. And now just got to heal up my sciatic nerve which was pinched but uh, that's beside the story so I'm hoping when he gets back here in a week um, I'll be joining him and uh, well we'll see in about a week I'm not sure how long he'll take out there he's heading over to uh, the island now and there's a friend he's gonna meet up with there and I want to go over this uh, piece of footage I found too I'm gonna include a couple things in this uh, video this is some footage that I was able to find and as you can see this is a transport with all those plastic coffins that everybody's talking about and one thing that I want you guys to pay close attention to and it's really quick here you can't barely see it but there's a symbol on that one side of the tractor trailer and we're gonna see it here I'm gonna slow it down for you guys so you can really take a look at what the symbol is so pay attention here it's gonna come into the screen right about now you see what I'm seeing and this is a transport taking those coffins somewhere this is disturbing guys so I want to share that with you so um, download this video share it with your friends whatever you need to do but we need to know what's going on here so I want to include this and we'll go into this here You're not real. You're not real. What? You are? Is any of it real? I mean, look at this. Look at it! A world built on fantasy. Synthetic emotions in the form of pills. Psychological warfare in the form of advertising. Mind-altering chemicals in the form of food. Brainwashing seminars in the form of media. Soul isolated bubbles in the form of social networks. Real? You want to talk about reality? We haven't lived in anything remotely close to it since the turn of the century. We turned it off, took out the batteries, snapped on a bag of GMOs while we tossed the remnants in the ever-expanding dumpster of the human kingdom. It's branded houses, trademarked by corporations built on bipolar numbers, jumping up and down on digital displays, hypnotizing us into the biggest... Okay, so we're here with uh, a friend of mine, and I'm going to ask him four questions. So the first question is when I say flat earth, what comes to mind? Two thousand years ago. Okay. Now when you look out into the horizon on an ocean, is the or is the um, horizon flat or curved? Well, I I feel it's curved because if there was a sailboat three miles out I wouldn't see it. Okay. Well, that's perfect. Uh, if no one told you the earth is round and you went outside, what would your senses tell you it was? My senses would tell me if I had the, the training I've had and uh, no led training. the life that I've had without any astronomical type training, right, right. I I would be, I would think it's flat. Okay. Now. But, but, okay. let me give an, uh, however, I've been to Australia a couple of times. Mm -hmm. And I have heard that when you go to Australia, the water goes down the drain the other way. And I've seen it. It's true. Mm -hmm. So, that makes sense. So, you know, I, but your question was if I just go outside. Mm -hmm. If that's all I did, but if I went outside in Australia... <laughs> I was. I, I but you, wonder. you would have to go from yeah. the northern hemisphere to the southern hemisphere yes, to see yes. both directions. Okay. Yeah. yeah. No, that's fair. And the last question: uh, Would if there is evidence pointing towards a flat Earth, and you were able to research it, would you research it? If it appeared that there was real evidence, I would certainly check it out. Okay. That's the four questions. Thank you.